Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create quotes and send them to your potential customers in Xero. I use the Australian version of Xero in this video, but you can use the information for any version of Xero that you like. And if you'd like to learn more about Xero, check out the information on our courses in the description below. So just a quick overview of what we're going to do in this lesson. First of all, we're going to create a quote and then we're going to email it to ourselves. Um, instead of the client and then we're going to accept the quote and then see how we can create an invoice straight out of the accepted quote. So from our zero dashboard we can just go into business and quotes and in the demo company here as we've seen before there's actually no quotes um, to display. So let's go ahead and create a new quote by clicking on this button. Okay so this is the new quotes screen and we're going to create our quote from here and it's quite similar to the invoice creation process so we won't run through every little detail i'll just um, go through the basics so the first thing we need to do is put our customer in so we'll just pick that bayside wholesale and then we've got today's date for the quote we've got the expiry date in 30 days so that's the 30 days that we set up in the quote settings in the last lesson and the quote number which starts with QU dash and the triple zero one because it's the next number in the sequence. We're going to use the standard theme for our branding template and we've got this text that comes through down here that's set up in the actual branding template for the standard theme. We don't have any files to attach so we'll just leave that. And then what we'll do just to speed things up is we'll grab an item from our products and services. So let's just scroll down and Let's grab this support, this desktop support item. Okay, so we've got desktop support there for $500 um, plus GST. So that's what our quote is gonna be. And just like for um, our invoices, you can add new lines if you want, and you can also save it as a draft or you can just send it um, straight to the client from here. So let's just save it as a draft so we can see where it appears in the quote screen. Okay, so you can see that's in the draft tab there. So what we need to do next um, is we need to get it to the next stage of the process. So if we go back into it, you can see now what we've got is a couple of buttons at the top. We've got send and we've got print. Now we don't actually have a preview button like we do for invoices. So if you wanted to have a look at it now, before you send it, you need to print it. So I'll just click on that. and we'll take a look at the PDF. And we can use that just to check our details. So um, it's just our draft quote, all those details are correct. We've got those terms down the bottom that have come through and we've got our um, logo up the top and everything like we've got on that um, standard template. So that's all good and I'll just close that and we'll go back in here. So from here we need to send it. Now, um, after it gets sent to the client, uh, the client has to accept it and then it comes back into the system and we can create an invoice out of it. So obviously this is not a real client. So I'm, I'm going to email it to my own inbox and I'll just pretend that I'm the client. So I'll just click on send. Okay, so you just get um, a standard email that comes up here. And again, this is something that you can change in your settings just like you could for the email for um, the invoices. And normally here you would put the email address of the client uh, that you're going to send it to but like i said i've got to send it to myself so i'll just put my own email address in there okay which i have to blank out um, just for security purposes okay so that's in there now so what i'll do is i'll just send it and then we'll go back to the quote screen okay so you can see that's moved along to the next bucket now that's in sent so the next thing i'll do is pretend that i'm the client and i'll go into my um, email inbox and I will open up the email. Okay, so this is what the email would look like in the customer's inbox. So there's just a little write-up of the quote in here with a link to view it online, which we'll look at in a sec. And there's also a PDF attached to it. If they uh, want a PDF version, then there it is. All right, so we'll just click on this link and that takes us to the quote um, itself. So from here, the client can check the details and then they can either accept it or decline it. 
So what we're going to do is pretend that we're the client and we're going to accept it. And then we're going to go back into zero and see what happens to it. So I'll just click on accept. Okay. And then we'll just go back into zero. Okay. So back in zero, if we just refresh this screen by, we'll just click on all. Okay. And we can see now that that quote has moved on from the sent box into accepted. So now that that's been accepted, if we just click into it, what we can do is we can just create an invoice out of it. So I'll just click on create invoice and I'll just tick marked as invoice. Okay. So now we're in a new invoice uh, template screen and it's gone and just created the invoice uh, from the quote. So just like any other invoice process from here, you can either save it as a draft or you can approve it. So we're just going to go ahead and approve this one. And in fact, we need to put a due date in there. So we don't have that automatically coming in. So let's just give it 14 days. We'll click approve. All right, there we go. So we've got an invoice in there now, and you can see that it's used the, um, the quote there as a reference. So we'll just go and have a look at the invoices screen. And there it is there, Bayside Wholesale, created out of quote 0001. All right, so let's just go and have one last look at the quotes. All right, and now we can see that that has moved on from accepted and into the invoice tab. So if we just click on invoice, there it is there. All right, so that's the quotes process. You now know how to create a quote and email it to the client. And after they've accepted it, you can go ahead and create an invoice out of it. And of course, from there, you can go on and send the invoice to the client.